Welcome back to Professor Spectrum. Today we're looking at how to get started on your portable XRF. First things first, we're giving the instrument some power. So we're inserting a charged battery or a mains power cord. Press the power button to turn it on and a login screen will appear. Place in your credentials provided and a radiation warning will be displayed. Press the trigger and OK to the application settings. This will take you to the home screen. The next step is to prepare for analysis. Depending on the sample type you are analyzing will depend on the calibration you choose. For example, if you are analyzing a geological material, you might choose geo exploration as your calibration. To do this, you go into application, click on the calibration type you want, and confirm by pressing OK. This will then take you back to the home page. From here, check the settings and ensure that the beam times are at the recommended length. For example, for geo exploration, we recommend 20 seconds per beam as this allows full acquisition of all the elements in that calibration. Anything shorter than this will not be a reliable result. You can also choose here if you want manual or auto trigger active. To name your samples from the home screen, click edit info, double click on the white box in the value column and enter in the desired name using the keyboard. Click OK and you're ready to go. If you want something a bit more customized, you can do so by clicking edit info configure and here you can add new rows and create more customized sample identification for your project, such as countering where you can auto increment sample IDs so you don't have to change the name manually every single analysis. When you're done, press OK. Now you're ready for analysis. Place the examination window against the sample and pull and release the trigger. If you're using Brooker Remote Control software, press trigger pull. To stop analysis early, pull and release the trigger again. Most calibrations require 60 seconds minimum total scan time. Dependent on the calibration, this is divided over each beam phrase. It is recommended to analyze for the full recommended time, and if you're unsure of this, please contact Portable Spectral Services for clarification. To export the results, ensure a USB is in the USB port. From the home screen, press Utilities, Backup Data. Check the destination is located to the USB and click Copy. Then press Execute. This will transfer the data. To review results from the home screen, press Utilities, Results. Double click on an individual result to view. Use the arrows to toggle back and forth between results and if you want to exit, click back. This has been Professor Spectrum. We hope today has been a useful video and if you need any further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out at portaspects.com or info at portaspects.com. See you next time.